Doing cardio can be a game changer for your health, improving your heart, lungs, and overall well-being. However, there's a surprising twist to the cardio story that most people aren't aware of. In today's deep dive, we're uncovering the eight hidden truths about cardiovascular exercise that nobody tells you. So let's lace up those sneakers and jump right in. 1. Calories Burn Contrary to the popular belief that cardio exercises burn substantially more calories than resistance training, a study published in the Journey of Strength and Conditioning Research challenged this notion. This research compared the calorie expenditure during 30 minutes of weight training, high-intensity interval training, or HIT, and steady-state cardio, revealing a surprising result. There was no significant difference in calorie burn between weight training and steady-state cardio. This unexpected outcome suggests that resistance training, often overlooked for its calorie-burning potential, can be just as effective in terms of calorie expenditure as traditional cardio exercises, debunking the calorie myth associated with these two forms of exercise. 2. Constrained Energy Expenditure Ever felt like your energy levels take a nosedive after a cardio workout? Well, there's a fascinating explanation for that phenomenon and it's called constrained energy expenditure. Picture this, you've just crushed a cardio session, but later in the day, you find yourself less inclined to fidget or make those everyday movements. It turns out that cardio can sometimes put the brakes on these spontaneous physical activities, and that, my friends, means you're burning fewer calories for the rest of the day. So while cardio workouts are fantastic for your heart and can sizzle calories during the session, they might sneakily lead to a drop in overall calorie burn due to this quirk, affecting your daily energy balance. It's a reminder that exercise science can be full of surprises. 3. Limited Fat Loss Cardio gets a gold star for overall health, but if you're on a mission to shed those extra pounds, it might not be your ace in the hole. A deep dive into the numbers, involving a whopping 1,800-plus overweight and obese individuals, unveils a surprising twist. According to a meticulous meta-analysis, solo aerobic exercise doesn't emerge as the heavyweight champ of weight loss. Instead, it's dieting that takes center stage, with a far more impressive impact on those stubborn pounds. So if you've been sweating it out on the treadmill with dreams of a slimmer you, Remember that when it comes to losing weight, what's on your plate might matter even more than what's on your workout playlist. 4. Impact on Strength Gains For all the cardio enthusiasts out there chasing those fat-burning dreams, here's a plot twist. It might just throw a curveball at your strength gains. Enter the interference effect, also known as concurrent training effect, and it's a game changer. You see, when you mix cardio with resistance training, there's a chance it could throw your muscle explosiveness and mass off track. So if bulging biceps and serious muscle growth are on your agenda, it's time to think about a balancing act between your cardio sessions and your strength training routine. Finding that equilibrium could be the secret sauce to help you reach your fitness goals without sacrificing those hard-earned gains. 5. Muscle Growth Impairment Cardio, the trusty friend of many fitness enthusiasts, often aimed at boosting cardiovascular health, can actually throw a wrench into your strength and muscle growth aspirations. The evidence comes from a compelling meta-analysis that speaks volumes. When cardio joins forces with resistance training, muscle growth takes a hit, a substantial 39% hit to be precise. So if you're juggling heavy lifting with marathon running, you might be unwittingly putting a damper on those muscle gains you've been striving for. It's a reminder that finding the right balance in your fitness routine can be the key to unlocking your full strength potential. 6. The Myth of the Fat Burning Zone Let's debunk the fat burning zone myth. You've probably heard the chatter about how exercising at a low intensity in this so-called fat burning zone is the secret to torching those fat reserves. Well, let's set the record straight, because research brings a fresh perspective. It turns out that high-intensity cardio might just be the real heavyweight champ in the ring. Why? Because it can torch more total calories, which in the long game translates into more significant fat loss. So if you've been slogging away in the fat-burning zone, it might be time to crank up the intensity for a more effective fat-burning journey. 7. Fasted Cardio 
let's shine a spotlight on the fasted cardio myth. You've probably heard the buzz about how exercising on an empty stomach is a magical fat-burning formula. But here's the scoop. It might not be the silver bullet we've been led to believe. Research dives in and reveals an interesting twist. Sure, during a fasted workout, you may indeed tap into those fat stores, but your metabolism has a clever trick up its sleeve. It compensates later in the day, leveling the playing field for fed workouts. The end result? Similar fat loss outcomes whether you're fasting or not. So if you've been waking up at dawn for fasted cardio, know that there's no secret handshake to faster fat loss. Consistency and balanced nutrition might be the real keys to your fitness journey. 8. Longevity and Overdoing Cardio Let's wrap it up with a surprising twist. Too much cardio might not be the golden ticket to a longer life. It's a bit counterintuitive, right? Research shakes things up by suggesting that folks at both ends of the activity spectrum, the couch potatoes and the high mileage runners, might be in the same boat when it comes to lifespan. Turns out, moderation might be the secret sauce. The takeaway here is crystal clear. More doesn't always equal better, and overdoing cardio could potentially backfire on your health, leading to unexpected consequences. So when it comes to cardio, balance might just be the name of the game for a healthier, longer journey.